continuing to our discussion okay i have provided you uh, the graphical user interface of autocad okay then okay i'll just mark this as done okay then i'll proceed to the next okay now methods on how to interact with autocad okay Basically, there are four methods on how to interact with our cat. These are the use of the ribbon, ribbon tabs, uh, menus, and icons. So as you can see, this is the example of the ribbon, and this is the home uh, ribbon tab key. And the second method is selecting the commands from the cascading drop-down menus, as you can see in the figure below, okay, and like this one, okay. And then the use of the toolbars to invoke the command okay toolbars are this uh, one uh, shown in the figure okay and then the last method will be the typing the commands in the command line okay so uh, on this module you may want to read them okay and these are the step-by-step -step procedure on how to use the uh, method itself okay so first method is by the ribbon so that is selecting the commands okay in the ribbon okay so as you can see line tool line command polyline so on these are the draw panel okay you can also invoke the command uh, modify commands like erase move copy okay let's see line okay so I specify first point as you can see in the command line okay this is where autocad also communicates with you so it's specifying the first point i would click anywhere in the drawing area okay. then spe specify next point and so on okay as you will notice okay uh, autocad or the line tool doesn't end on its own okay how do you end the command so that is simply by pressing the escape key on the, in the keyboard or the enter key in the keyboard. I'll just press enter, okay? Now I can also invoke the circle tool, okay? Specify first the center and you write the radius, okay? Also you can erase, okay? Erase, select the objects, okay? After selecting all the objects, you press enter. Now. Okay, uh, that is the first method. You invoke the command in the uh, ribbon. Okay, the second method will be probably cascading drop down menus. So, so far I don't have any cascading drop down menus. How do you show them on? Okay, so I'll just click this double drop down arrow here. Okay, right next to toolbar. Or probably if your workspace is selected, okay, it's right after the uh, workspace okay so that is the show menu bar okay i'll just select this one okay as you can see there's another layer uh, up here where the file edit view and so on are available okay so i'll just click on the file let's see uh, left click okay so there's the drop down available okay file drop down menu okay as you should notice i'll just move my cursor on the edit so it cascaded and it drop down okay moving forward okay so moving the mouse cursor will provide you the scaling drop down menus and there is the draw okay the line is available the other draw commands similarly with modify Okay, there's the race copy mirror okay you select them okay let's say i'll just select the or use the copy tool okay so i'll just select the objects so copy is activated on the command line select objects so autocad wants you to select objects that you wanted to copy okay after selecting the objects i'll just press the enter key on the keyboard okay then autocad will notify you specify base point 
so i'll just click anywhere in the drawing area click and i'll just select this point then i'll just move away okay let's say on this location there okay and the copy command doesn't end uh, end on its own okay you need to end it by pressing the escape key or the enter on the key in the keyboard okay i'll just press the escape key okay you can also invoke the draw let's say circle or rectangle okay rectangle okay okay another method okay is by the toolbar okay so that is the toolbar where is the toolbar i don't have any toolbar available uh, in the user interface of autocad okay i'll just provide one so in the under the cascading drop down menu you need to select the tools okay and then toolbars then autocad and then let's say draw okay as you can see this is the draw toolbar so the line with the icon without its name unlike under the ribbon it has the icon with its name okay so there's the rectangle circle and so on okay i'll just add another toolbar okay let's say modify modify toolbar those are the arrays copy and so on okay you can place them in the topmost okay of your drawing area or under the right left side okay or you can hover them on the right side probably or at the bottom okay say here okay or you may want to float them okay autocad uh, cad drafters those uh, which are professionally using uh, autocad they usually use the toolbar okay provided they are minimizing the or removing the ribbon okay so that they could maximize the drawing area how do you maximize the drawing area okay as you can see minimize uh, two panel buttons and click one more and another one okay so the ribbon is simply removed by doing that okay you can place it back by simply clicking again on this uh, icon by showing the full ribbon okay so i don't suggest to use you to use the uh or removing the ribbon okay uh, probably you can use the toolbar and the ribbon leave it there okay so i just close this one and close this one okay that is the third one that's by the toolbar and the last method will be the command line so that is typing the commands in the command line so let's say line okay then i'll press enter okay so there's the command command line is activated so i can create lines okay and press enter escape key okay okay or i could simply type in the drawing area as you can see rectangle are you see rectangle okay if you don't know the shortcut of the certain command you could simply type the full spelling of that command provided correct spelling okay then press enter okay then rectangle command is activated okay so press a specify first corner and the other corner okay simply circle i'll type c okay first letter uh, first two letters first three letters those are the keyboard shortcuts like for example uh, copy c then o circle will not be available because the keyboard shortcut is simply letter c okay so if i wanted to copy i'll press the enter then i select some objects then press enter then specify base point okay then i'll just uh, move it here or copy it here okay then press enter or escape key okay so you need to pay attention on the command line so among those four methods okay you need to 
select uh, one or two methods if you want uh, where you are compatible in selecting uh, the commands like for example I only want the ribbon okay you simply select those commands in the ribbon oh I wanted to use the typing okay it's just the first letter or first two letter or simply the first three letter okay and then pressing enter or if you want you can use the cascading drop down menus by simply hovering on the draw pa cascade drop down menu modify or you can place some toolbars okay yeah okay you can choose your own method okay now so you may want to read them okay um, how to use those method okay this method okay so I'll just mark this as done